Chance of it, not even a little bit. Doctor, professor, I should say professor, professor, M. Shantram Shetty and Sri Vishal Hegdi, pro-chancellors of Nath University, Professor Dr. M. S. Mulitaya, Vice-Chancellor, and past and wonderful Vice-Chancellors who are with us today, Sri Shashi Karen Shetty and Justice N. Santosh Hegdi, Distinguished recipient of Doctor of Science, Honoris Causa, senior faculty members, members of Board of Management and Academic Council, distinguished invitees, faculty members, proud parents, and most importantly, the awardees and the candidates who are graduating today. It is a great honor and privilege to be invited as your chief guest to address the 13th annual convocation at the university. Thank you for your generosity and warm welcome. Today is a day of celebration, reflection, and anticipation. I want to express my heartfelt congratulations to all of you especially the graduates on this momentous occasion. Graduating class of fall 2023, first and foremost, I want to commend each and every one of you for your hard work, dedication, perseverance that have brought you to this moment. It takes immense effort and sacrifices to achieve the academic milestone, and you should be tremendously proud of what you have done to accomplish that. You have demonstrated your ability to set goals and achieve them, and that's a scale that will serve you well throughout your lives. At this time, please allow me to recognize those individuals and groups that have been instrumental and responsible in making your success possible. Let all of us express our deepest gratitude to the late Justice K.S. Hegde, a renowned judge of Supreme Court of India from mid-60s to early 70s for his vision and generosity. Honorable Chancellor Sri M. Vinay Hegdi for his vision, leadership, commitment, and care, and the entire Hegdi's family for their admirable legacy in creating such a superb, high quality educational institution to provide opportunity for so many young men and women like the graduating class who are the future of this country, and yes, the globe. I further commend the entire administration, faculty, and the staff at Nati University for the leadership, commitment, and tireless efforts in perfect execution of the noble mission and vision of Nati Education Trust. I believe that Neti University, which was established in 2008 by Neti Education Trust, Mangalore, founded in 1979, has evolved into a prominent educational conglomerate in India. Today, Neti Education Trust has in its fold 36 institutions spread over three sprawling campuses at Neti, Mangalore, and Bangalore, with nearly 25,000 students. The group's journey over the decades has been marked by a relentless commitment in providing quality education in a field such as healthcare, engineering, 
management and more. NETI has received numerous recognition, including NAAC A plus grade, NIRF 65th rank, and National Board of Accreditation. It consistently ranked among the top educational institutions in India, a testament to its dedication to academic excellence and holistic development. NETI Group's journey is a remarkable story of education growth and commitment to shaping future leaders and professionals. NETI University's dedication to its vision and mission are exemplary. The aspiration that is the vision to build a humane society through education and healthcare is not only ambitious but also noble. Education and healthcare are two of the most critical pillars of societal development. And the university's focus on this area indicates a clear sense of responsibility toward the community. The belief that education should go beyond mere information loading and strive to create responsible, compassionate, and society socially aware individuals is a testament of NETI commitment to producing well-rounded graduates who can make a meaningful difference in the world. Please join me expressing our deepest appreciation and gratitude to affirmation to, to the affirmation group led by Honorable Chancellor Vinay Hegdi by a well-deserved round of applause. May I ask all administrators, faculty members, your professors, and the staff to stand and be recognized. Graduating class of fall 2023, these individuals have been your teachers, mentors, advisors, role models, look after you for your benefit beyond the scenes. They assisted you to thrive academically and personally and paved your way to get to this stage. Can you please recognize their contribution to your success by giving them a huge round of applause? Thank you. Please be seated. Could I ask the parents, grandparents, spouses, children, and family members, and loved ones of today's graduates to stand and allow the administration, faculty, staff, and graduate to applaud you in deep gratitude. All of you have contributed greatly to our graduate success. Thank you, and please be seated. Graduate, you have worked very hard and made many sacrifices. Your talent, dedication, self-determination, and persistence are to be commended. You are among a very special group. You have navigated a rigors, the rigors of obtaining a degree at time like no other, a time of pandemic that held many unexpected challenges. I command your strength, resilience, and commitment in reaching this major and important life milestone of graduation. However, 
as you step out into the world, I want to remind you that learning doesn't end here. In fact, it is only just beginning. Education is a lifelong journey. And the knowledge and the skills you have acquired here should be the foundation upon which you continue to build your path. I encourage you to use your skills, talents, for betterment of society, whether it's through your chosen profession, volunteer work, or community engagement, strive to leave a mark and make, that makes the world a better place for future generations. In the time of uncertainties and challenges, in these time of uncertainties and challenges, I also want to emphasize the importance of empathy and compassion. The ability to understand and connect with people from diverse backgrounds, cultures, and perspectives is an invaluable asset. It is through such understanding and cooperation that we can address the world's most pressing issues, from climate change to social injustice. I wish now to offer you a few of my thoughts and few challenges with hopeful expectations as you move forward to the next chapter of your life. My first challenge to you is to be a lifelong learner, but do it with passion and make sure it has impact on you at least. Let me start by saying that the real value of education are to become a learner, to listen, to think, to reason, to challenge, to create, to collaborate, to embrace unaccepted and changes, to conclude and to decide. If you have these tools, <clears throat> which I am certain this great institution has instilled in you, then you are well posed to begin your successful journey not only in your field of profession, but also in life in general. However, to sustain, to enhance, to be viable in a successful journey, you must be a lifelong learner. <clears throat> Being a lifelong learner will give you confidence to do jobs you do not think you can do because your resume doesn't support it. <coughs> I'm sorry. Being a lifelong learner means you learn the inside knowledge from people who have more confidence and experience than you because they have been there. That will make you more confident and valuable as a professional. Lifelong learning allows you to do unexpected assignment that your job or your journey may require you to do so. It will motivate you to embrace change with successful outcomes. Being a lifelong learner is a key to allow you to be successful in future and, and control your destination. <coughs> My second message to you is to embrace change, be adaptable, and set meaningful goals for yourself and betterment of society, and be resilient and passionate in pursuing them. I'm going to use myself. The weather in India is very hot for me, so I, I, I cannot have the same level of strength that, that you do. I'm sorry about that. I'm going to use my own uh, story. I wish to share my own journey with you. As someone, I believe that I embrace changes 
I was adaptable, and I had passion. I set goals, and I achieved them, I believe. I graduated with a BS degree from accounting from Iran in early 70s, when I was only 18 or so. I graduated from high school when I was 14 so or so, not by choice, because of force of my parents. Very similar to many of your parents who want you to be whatever they want to. <clears throat> I worked in accounting field after I graduated in a large company that belonged to a German-American. I worked for three months. I hated every day of it. Right away, I found that I am going to quit accounting and do something else. You see, it is very difficult when you are trained and spend four years of your life on certain activity and all of a sudden you divorce it. It was very difficult for me. So adapting to something else was the first challenge for me. But the company that I was working for gave me an offer. They told me that you are a good learner. We wish to give you an engineering job or become an engineering technician. I absolutely had no clue what engineering meant. So I had to adapt. I had to learn new things. I did. I did, and I worked for that company for three plus years. Was very successful in that job. However, because of my colleagues, and many of our, my wonderful co-workers, my level of confidence changed to go get my degrees, bachelor degrees, and later on master and PhD degrees from a strange country. I was in a very comfortable environment, being with my family and friends in Iran. I had to leave just before the Iranian Revolution. It happened in 1979. I left on 1978. I went to a strange country called the United States. <clears throat> when I got there, I had little money. I thought I'm going to be able to get money from home, but the Iranian government did not allow me to get money anymore. I went and pleaded to U.S. immigration to allow me to work. They did. They allowed me to work. I worked as a full-time student. 60 hours per week. If I would have worked as a technician, I would have made much more money. But I could not use my technician license because it was not from the United States. Therefore, I had to do odd jobs. I was doing farming. I was doing construction work. I washed dishes, cleaned table, did serve food in restaurants. I tutored. I did many other odd jobs to just make it. Nothing could stop me because I had passion, I had resilience, and I could adopt. And my message to you is, life could be hard sometimes, but you could make it. Thank you. Well, what I learned from there, it was a lot that I learned from my professors, not just a success as a uh, getting my degree or so. However, the co-worker and my professor taught me a lot more. They actually set my life after that. That became my decision to do things that I did after for the past three, eight plus years. I became an educator. My goal was to serve the society as an educator. Not only that, but also a trained educator to become <clears throat> like myself or better because I know professors touch a lot of lives they make our student to become our future product they are the one who make a better world for all of us and, and so that is my life that has been my life for the past 38 years my third message to you is to have purpose and have passion for it and make sure it has impact <clears throat> there are many ways we seek and have purpose. A purpose can focus on a small task, a small or specific society or group, or entire world. 
However, no matter the dimension, they need to be pursued with passion and have impacts. Please allow me to give you a few examples. Mark Zuckerberg, a hardware dropout, the inventor of Facebook. Every one of you probably know this gentleman. In one of his speeches indicated that finding your purpose is not enough. The challenge of our generation is to create a world where everyone has a sense of purpose. He further noted that purpose is that feeling that you are part of something bigger than yourself, that you are needed, that you have something ahead to work for. His creation of Facebook was to connect the entire world together. He passionately worked on it and made it to be purpose of millions of people. <coughs> Another example, this is for my health people. In 1984, Barry Marshall, an Australian scientist, was so sure that a certain type of bacteria was associated with the stomach ulcer. His purpose was to find that bacteria. His passion drove him to grow the bacteria in his lab and drink the contents to transfer it to his own stomach to see if he could develop ulcer. He performed and documented a regular biopsy and asked his mother to smell his breath. And yes, he did have ulcer. He proved that H. pylori bacteria caused ulcer and won the Nobel Prize for it. Another example, the famous Bill Gates that made Microsoft to be purpose of every one of us. Bill and Melanie Gates Foundation was established with the purpose of alleviating health inequities in developing countries by providing funding for vaccination on those countries to prevent diseases that cause millions of deaths for people, especially children. This is a successful but an ongoing effort. I hope all of us can contribute to such causes. I hope you all find purposes during the next chapter of your lives that could impact the society with great positive outcomes as we all need you for it. Graduates, you are the truest measure of this institution's success. You achieve, your achievement are the culmination of all of this college's planning and decision making. Attention to curriculum, to the teaching learning enterprise, to the professional and disciplinary community they represent, and to their continuing commitment to highest standard of excellence. Therefore, I urge you to represent your institution well out there. And please come back to participate in its well-being as a productive alumni. As you move forward from this convocation, always carry this, the lessons you have learned here today with you. The experience, friendship, and knowledge you have gained will serve you as your compass, guiding you through your journey ahead. I am confident that graduated, graduates of NITI University, with your unique talent and education that, have, that you have received, will go on accomplish many remarkable things in your lives. Embrace the changes, be the change makers, and continue to strive for excellence in all that you do. <clears throat> Don't be afraid to dream big, but with purpose, and take risks. Remember, 
that great achievement often requires great risks. Trust in your abilities. Have the courage to pursue your passions and dare to be bold. Never settle for mediocrity when greatness is within your reach. Congratulations once again on, on your achievement and I wish all of you the very best in your future endeavors.